Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the world where you preside in. How's it going? It's me, Fishile. And on today is the launch day of Trails into Reverie. I have been waiting for this game for quite some time. And when I say quite some time, I mean a long, long time. But, with that out the way, I have a very, very important announcement to make. And it is in relation to my streams going forward after today and during this entire playthrough. Uh, if you haven't been tapping in or whatever, um, I have grown extremely dissatisfied with Twitch over a long period of time. Not just with the stagnation of my channel, um, executive decisions, things that severely detrimentally affect everyone on the website, and more and more changes that leave a very, really, really, really bad taste in my mouth. And as such, because I have been making more of an effort to stream on YouTube and on Kick, once this playthrough is over, by that I mean when I see the end credits, after that point, the likelihood of me streaming on Twitch will probably be solely reduced down to once or twice a month. And on top of that, outside of Spider-Man 2, that will be the next main game I stream on Twitch, but after that, I really don't know. Because there's just been too many things that have aggravated me, aggravated other people, detrimentally affected me and other people, and I'm not willing to continue to put up with that anymore. So, if you see this, whether it be live or on YouTube, if you are subscribed to me on Twitch, please reverse that. I would rather you make a monthly pledge to my Ko-Fi or subscribe to me on Streamloot, which is the same price but with way, way better benefits. And if you're going to do anything that's financial related as far as donations or contributions or whatever, please, please do those on either YouTube, Kofi, Stream Loots, and eventually Kick as well. I'm not willing to deal with this shit anymore. And it's not just myself that's making this mass change. There are many, many other people making this change as well. But that is the situation for me, myself, right now. And I'm making this announcement now. And after this point, whatever happens, happens. It'd be really, really funny if I had a massive Twitch blow up, you know, during this playthrough. And would that get me to reverse my decision? No, because I've been working on this decision for a while because I have been streaming on Twitch regularly for the last two years and you know Rome wasn't built in a day Mount Fuji wasn't climbed at the speed of light and what have you things take time but amidst that process of things taking time if you're consistently getting beat down and beat down and beat down and beat down and having things that are made for you that are objectively bad I'm not ain't nobody willing to do that no more end game thoughts with the backing of every single game before this, I've got to say that this is a really... Re DID HE PROPOSE?! Oh my god, let's go, Randy! I'm- I'm- <laughs> I'm sorry, what- I, I didn't mean to get distracted that fucking hard, but damn, okay. <laughs> As I was saying, with the backing of all the games beforehand, I can wholeheartedly say that this is an amazing way to cap off 
this arc of everything. The Sky Games, the Crossbell Games, and definitely the Cold Steel Games. And I can't wait <laughs> to just not only do it all over again, but talk about it with other fans and enjoyers of this franchise. And I, th this is, this is literally the best way to enjoy it gameplay wise because all the quality of life shit and all the new changes and the buffs and it it's just it's just good like you cannot tell me that all the shit they added to this is bad in any degree it's just fucking good and that's all I can really say on the matter music banging the fights were pretty decent, and even even when I went off and grinded and did my preparation, I wasn't too over-leveled or anything of the sort. Because, you know, I like to have my backup plans, and I like to make sure that my numbers are at least big enough to where I won't get my, my dick kicked in the next fight I go into. But, hell, even even as a standalone game, even if I didn't know anything about this, I would still have a good time with it. Because for what it presents, it's worth getting into. It's worth enjoying. It's worth playing from start to finish. And, like, you can't... There's no way that you can say that this is a bad game, either from a storytelling standpoint, an artistic standpoint, or from a gameplay standpoint. It is all around fucking good. And all the, the, the twists and the turns that granted the series is fucking known for, but all the crazy shit that goes on is well fucking earned. And well deserved. And everyone has their part to play, however big, however small. But the way that people had to do what they had to do was a fucking one. A one. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about it, because I really genuinely don't have any complaints. I don't. Well, okay, outside of Nisa fucking things up with the translation and the localization and all that, that's one thing I can complain about, because some of the shit that's in here is inexcusable. Like, the Link shit being broken and not working, things being mistranslated, words missing, all this and that, that's one thing to complain about. But outside of all that, it's still fucking good. Very, very good. And now that I am at the end of this game, as I said at the beginning of this playthrough, When I finish this game, that would mostly be the end of me streaming on Twitch. I'm not going to stop it completely, but the frequency of which I do will be drastically reduced. I will be streaming a lot more on YouTube and Kick going forward, but the content isn't going to change, the energy isn't going to change, and should there happen to be a game... Rest in peace, Billy. Should there be a game going forward that I really, really, really want to stream, 
on Twitch, then I'll do that. But for the time being, that's not going to happen. But things have to change. Change is not a bad thing. Change is good. And with that, that's my playthrough of Trails into Reverie. And I can't wait to do it all over again. The Reverie... The, there's more?